AC prolonged exposure therapy and cognitive processing therapy um, almost as like two wings of the same bird, if that makes sense. Um, they're different treatments. I think there are different times um, when one might be more appropriate than the other. There's different patients where one might be more appropriate than the other. Um, I think what you're doing in each case, though, is really trying to um, openly discuss a person's trauma with them, something like a memory that they're avoiding. You try to bring that forward. Um, what happens when you're able to bring that memory forward is you're able to um, contextualize the memory, right? That this is something that happened in a, per, uh, in a specific uh, place and time. It's not something that's happening right now. Um, and that you are able to get some distance um, from the memory and that the um, emotional bite of it is lessened. Um, there might be some natural emotions like... Um, sadness or grief that have been suppressed um, either because it wasn't the right time to feel those things openly um, or their stigma or people uh, just don't like feeling bad um, so they just don't um, but i think both prolonged exposure therapy and cognitive processing therapy have the same end goal which is you know what i just mentioned brainline is powered in part by wounded warrior project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families. 